Chunnu's Diwali. Diwali festival is just around the corner, so a poor kid named Chunnu is very excited. He goes to his father and says, "Dad, will we be able to celebrate Diwali this time? It's been so many years. We have not been able to celebrate Diwali. Please tell me, Dad, why are you so quiet?" Chunnu, how should I answer your innocent questions? I have been praying to Goddess Lakshmi for so many years, but Goddess Lakshmi doesn't seem to be happy with us. I don't know what mistake have I committed. Every year I perform puja during Diwali. Maybe it is my mistake. Maybe I have committed some sins and hence Goddess Lakshmi is not bestowing her blessings on us. We don't have any money with us child. We cannot celebrate Diwali this time either. Chunnu is sad and he walks out of his house. He goes and sits under a tree and cries a lot. Why did you dishearten the child? You could have simply said yes to him poor thing went out sobbing vimal the truth can't be changed at all the truth is we can't celebrate diwali why should we unnecessary lie to him so i told him the truth that's it i think we are paying for the sins that we committed in our past lives that's it chunnu was sitting under the tree and crying suddenly bal ganesh reaches towards him and says to chunnu what's the matter chunnu why are you crying why are you so sad but who are you I did not recognize you. Tell me how do you know my name? First you tell me why are you crying? Because my father told me that we won't be able to celebrate Diwali this year. We don't have enough money. My father has been praying to Goddess Lakshmi since so many years. He is performing puja too, but Goddess Lakshmi does not seem to bless us. I see. Is that it? Don't worry at all. Just do whatever I ask you to do. Is it? Will you help me? But I did not recognize you. Bal Ganesh shows Chunnu who he really is and tells him that he is here to help Chunnu. I am Bal Ganesh, your friend. Bal Ganesha, will you really help me? Yes, of course. I am here to help you. But nobody should find out that I am Lord Ganesh. I promise I will not tell anything to anyone. This time Goddess Lakshmi will surely help you. She does not let anyone down, Chunnu. She is my mother. But your mother is Parvati, right? You are absolutely right. But I am considered to be Goddess Lakshmi's son too, Chunnu. You tell me, how does your father pray to Goddess Lakshmi every year on Diwali? Every year, we light small lamps in and around our hut. We clean our house and also decorate the front yard with rangoli. We also keep Goddess Lakshmi's idol and pray and seek her blessings together. Does your father bring a new idol of Goddess Lakshmi every year? Yes yes he brings new idol every year but does that picture contain only goddess lakshmi yes he only brings goddess lakshmi's idol the shopkeeper in the village gives an idol to my father every year oh so that's it what is the matter why did you ask so you know your father prays to goddess lakshmi every year but the method of worshiping is not correct the shopkeeper is fooling your father Goddess Lakshmi idol has to have my picture on her left side and that greedy shopkeeper gives a fake picture of Goddess Lakshmi to your father every year your father prays to god for sure but the prayers don't reach him i did not get you what are you saying ganesha just do as i ask you to do this time you tell your father that this time when you bring goddess lakshmi idol to your house make sure it has lord ganesha's picture on the left as well chunnu runs back to his home and tells his father father when you bring the idol i want to go with you the idol you bring every time is not the right one the shopkeeper is a bad guy what is it you are saying chunnu it is important to have lord ganesha's idol next to goddess lakshmi for the prayers on the left side of goddess lakshmi lord ganesha is seen if you offer prayers to that idol only then goddess lakshmi will give us her blessings all our problems will go away father but why would he do so what is his benefit in doing so he is a greedy shopkeeper he sells cheap idols and so he sells only goddess lakshmi's idol father he does not give you the idol that is necessary for the prayers 
So this time we will buy new idol with the money that is available with us, even if we don't celebrate Diwali. Bola and Chunnu go to the shopkeeper and ask for Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi's idol. Oh, Bola, this idol is very expensive. You will not be able to buy it, so I will not sell it to you. Whatever it is, I will buy this idol of Ganesha only. You can take as much money as you want. Hari Lal asks for twice the amount of money and gives Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi's idol to Bola. Bola and Chunnu. to bring that idol home oh what is this today is an auspicious day of lakshmi poojan and on this day we should pray to goddess lakshmi you got lord ganesha's picture along with it vimal we cannot fulfill our children's demands but at least we can fulfill this one right isn't it he has said that if we keep lord ganesha's idol along with lakshmi ji's then lakshmi ji will best to her blessings you never know maybe the kid is right So we got this idol. No problem. Give it to me. We will keep this idol with all our devotion and perform the prayers. Did you see Mother Lakshmi? They are very truthful people. They were just performing the prayers in the wrong way. Now that I'm with you, please give your blessings to them, Goddess Lakshmi. Yes, Bal Ganesh. They are praying wholeheartedly. Their thoughts are positive. This is a happy family, and their house is clean. I would love to stay in such a place. and you have done a good job by giving them knowledge now i definitely have to give them blessings goddess lakshmi bestows her blessings with both hands on their house entire house is enlightened on the same night bhola dreams of goddess lakshmi bhola i am happy and satisfied with your prayers you and your entire family offer prayers to me and lord ganesh with all your heart hence i am going to tell you something listen carefully There is a pot of gold underneath the ground behind your kitchen. You'll have to take it out tomorrow morning. But remember, how you use this wealth completely depends on your intelligence. So use it wisely and don't become greedy ever. Next morning, Bola digs a hole in the ground that is behind the kitchen. He actually gets a pot of gold out of it. He goes and tells his wife and son about it. and then prays to goddess lakshmi and says only and only because of my son goddess lakshmi you have given us your blessings today till today the way i was offering prayers to you was not the right way today i offered the prayers in the right way and you bestowed your blessings on this house it is my promise to you i will never get greedy about the wealth i accumulate I will use it wisely. In this way, Chunnu and his family celebrate Diwali joyfully. Later, Chunnu goes near the same tree and calls out to Bal Ganesh. Bal Ganesh, I thank you very much because of you, my entire family is now very happy. My mother and my father, they are very happy, and we were able to celebrate Diwali. Chunnu, I consider you as my friend. So it is my duty to help you out when you are in trouble my friend seeing this Bal Ganesh disappears from there and Chunnu spends his Diwali vacation happily and after that Chunnu has never been sad